Good morning, YouTubers. This right here is the look of insomnia. <laughs> it sucks so bad. I have literally not been able to sleep more than two or three hours broken up, mind you, <laughs> for weeks. Like, I have no idea what is going on. I think I have outgrown my Ambien. It used to work. It no longer works. And, uh, yeah, I've been on the highest dose, so. That means that I gotta get up and get this in me right now. Hobby's in the shower. I had a problem with my microphone on the previous two takes of explaining this. Anyhow, I'm going to try to finish it before he comes out of the shower. So, I got to get breakfast started. I have been up since four or something in the morning. But I didn't want to disturb Hubby anymore because every time I move, he wakes up and comes or looks for me or, you know, worries. I usually go to the TV room and put on some kind of a show on mute but with, like, subtitles. Or I watch with my earbuds uh, documentaries, something until I am literally falling asleep on YouTube. But uh, we have a new setup on the TV, so I have to check with him. And I didn't want to, like I said, wake him up. So anyway, the need is real, y'all. This is my second cup of coffee. Let me explain how Jen does coffee. Jen does coffee when it brews, and trust me, hubby's got it like espresso strong and then some. I put some ice in it. I'm not to make it cold, just warm. Cause I need it to get in quickly. Start working for me so I can start working because I got stuff to do, y'all. Anyhow. I decided to get up at 6-ish, which is prime dog through the fence fighting time. So, uh, you know, the coffee thing, I don't get it because my husband can literally, he could like drink it right out of the brew and, you know, scalding hot and he's like, I'm good. I don't know. I can't do this. Anyhow really quick because he just turned the shower off. I was up and let the dogs out and I basically have been on dog watch because we have three. The boxer is the old man and he doesn't bark ever unless like maybe somebody passes in the street you know while he's out because they're in more than they're out. All, all the time, you know, I try to let them out a lot, but really they are indoor dogs. Now, the problem team is the Jack Russell. Hubby's a little feisty, barking at everything dog. <laughs> and my 130 pound, super stubborn, I got your back to the Jack Russell's barking. We've had some incidents with the neighbors over here with a pit bull. And let me disclaim that I have no issue with pit bulls. I've owned one. I showed him he was an awesome dog. Never had a fight. Never a problem. But like any dog, you have to socialize them. And I don't think this one next door gets much other than crate. And then left in the yard for a little while on crate. So I don't know. So it has escalated over the weeks from the pit, our fence is chain link, theirs is wood, and they are side by side until you get to the farthest back corner. Well, guess what? Pitbull has learned to pull the boards off their fence and somehow, in a space like this, I kid you not, gets this big head and body through and has his teeth through the chain link and the Jack Russell is going at him, and my big boy is going over the Jack Russell. 
so he's getting trampled <laughs> and it is just ugly because this was what Jen got breaking it up this was my lovely encounter with Zeus who appeared to be a two-headed dog at that moment while I'm pulling dogs back oh, seriously alarm clock and I don't have anywhere to be <laughs> oh lord that's insomnia for you so yeah this dastardly duo of little Barker who sounds the alarm when he hears that the dog is out next door and Romeo's like oh I'm on it I got your back so we had a nice talk which took me five trips next door before mom came home and she didn't seem that concerned that my hand was mangled I mean bloody uh, wasn't real amused with that I mean I'm thinking I could sue you animal control could take your dog you know she didn't care I just told her you need to handle it because if my dog gets your dog it's gonna be ugly well, at that time, it hadn't escalated to the level it is now, where when they run out, it's immediately Vince check. Is he there? Because if he is, they and we placed big pieces of wood between the fence. And I told hubby, I want pepper spray. Not even playing around. I ain't playing, y'all. I got three cans sitting over there right now, and they're all about empty. Uh, because I was like, well, We'll just do a little spritz through the fence. Romeo is a big boy. He's 130 pounds. I'm 138 right now. I can usually run up and he's like, oh, mom, I'm, I'm, let me get in. The boxer doesn't get in it. It's just the Jack Russell and the Bullmastiff in the pit. Well, on that particular day, there were two. So the way I got these lovely badges of honor is because Zeus came through to bite and then he appeared to have two heads. Apparently they had a female that was pregnant over there. So I'm like, really? I haven't seen her anymore, I guess. Zeus has uh, been the current still problem. So it's escalated for several weeks and we have four foot plywood on our side with the chain link fence. They have wood and have decided the way to solve the problem because on second dog fight, when they hadn't put anything up, Zeus managed to get teeth through the chain link and Romeo charged him like get off my fence <laughs> and Romeo's nose got cut. He's fine but that was talk number two. I'm all about being a good neighbor but only for so long. So uh, anyway, we did get pepper spray. Zeus has been sprayed a few times. He takes a good couple hits because he didn't give up easy, but he usually comes back and he'll glare at me like, bitch. <laughs> it's pretty funny, but uh, we put more wood up. So the problem now is not that he can get through anymore. It's just when he's out and the little one hears him, he's like, bah, 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 bah. and Romeo's like, I got your back, bruh. Romeo jumps. 130 pound mastiff mind you all he is all of his mother four and a half feet five feet straight up like a cat grabs the plywood and launches itself to the next level on the fence and he's about over I mean I'm talking elbows up in here y'all this is unreal because now at this point Romeo doesn't listen to me anymore there is no Mom's coming, let me get off because she doesn't play. So, Romeo has been actually the one pepper sprayed weekly, mind you. Because my idea is you're not listening to the command of off the fence. He can take a the pepper spray, doesn't seem to hit him. Even though, mind you, I've gotten the windfall myself, y'all, and it hurts. Even when I think I didn't get it, about five minutes or so, I'm like, oh, 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 God. <laughs> it is nasty stuff. 
Romeo, he'll shake it off and literally rub his face in the dirt and go right back up on this fence. And if I come with the can, he just looks at me like, I'm good. And when he does get it and get down, he shakes his head, runs to the other part before I can get there, and is trying to climb that part. I know bull mastiffs are agile, and they're very protective of their yard and family. Otherwise, they're awesome family dogs, and they're quiet. They never bark unless something, seriously, no barking, unless something is wrong or someone's there. This fool must be three-quarters cat because he's never jumped. I can put a three-foot baby gate in a room, and he will not try to pass it. I mean, he can totally step over it. He won't ever try to do it. Six foot offense, he's all about it. He, to him, that's his launching post right now. So, definitely don't want to keep up this pepper spray routine because uh, it's getting old all the way around. I'm assuming uh, their side of the fence, they put some closet doors literally from inside the house. So, Zeus can't get through anymore. But now the new problem is Romeo's going in. <laughs> I need some coffee, y'all. Y'all think I'm playing. Anyway, I gotta start breakfast because hubby's gonna be out here in a moment. This is my third take on this video because this darn audio was not updated for some reason on this computer. And I hear the dogs gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> 